Welcome to 5-Minute German Grammar. Thank you for watching. This presentation will introduce definite articles in the nominative and accusative cases. You will recall from an earlier presentation that the grammatical gender of a noun is seen in its definite article. Der indicates a masculine noun, die a feminine noun, and das a neuter noun. And you will also remember that plural nouns manifest no gender. The only definite article for plural nouns is die. Most of the definite articles we have seen up to this point are in the nominative case. That is to say, they mark the noun that follows as being the subject or primary actor of a sentence. You could think of these definite articles as being the first row of a chart. The second row of the chart would be definite articles in the accusative case. These definite articles mark the noun that follows as being the direct object of the sentence. It is, in other words, the noun that receives the action performed by the subject of the sentence. We can see an important pattern here. The masculine definite article, der, is the only article that changes from the nominative to the accusative. A rhyme I have always told my students to help them remember this change is, der becomes den, everything else stays the same. Or perhaps you can think of the definite article, den, as being the only one that does not belong to a select group of definite articles. It got voted off the island. Whatever way works best for you, the masculine definite article is the only one that we really have to worry about, at least in the nominative and accusative cases. As you continue your study of German, which has a more flexible syntax than English, you will find that definite articles will be essential for determining what noun is the subject of the sentence and what noun receives the action performed by the subject. In the sentence you see on the screen, wo ist der Tisch, where is the table, the third person singular verb ist shows no action. It simply reports a condition or state of being. Since no real action is described in the sentence, the masculine definite article der indicates that the noun that follows, tisch, is in the nominative case and, therefore, the subject of the sentence. This all changes, however, if we add the masculine personal pronoun er to the sentence. This personal pronoun, since it is in the nominative case, must be the subject of the sentence. Accordingly, the masculine definite article den indicates that the following noun is in the accusative case and receives the action being performed by the subject. In other words, the noun tisch receives the action of being had or possessed by the subject of the sentence. Er hat den tisch. He has the table. Definite articles are really important for helping us make sense of what is going on in the sentence. You'll recall from an earlier presentation that we can emphasize sentence elements in German by putting them in the first position. Although den Tisch here comes in the first position, the masculine definite article tells us that it is the direct object and in the accusative case. The meaning of the sentence, therefore, is still the same as in the prior slide. Besides paying attention to personal pronouns, it is critical to consider other sentence elements, such as verb conjugations, and noun endings to understand what is going on. This is especially important when definite articles have similar forms. For example, the sentence you see on the screen, er sieht die Tür, he sees the door. The feminine definite article, die, which is in the accusative case, looks very similar to the nominative form, as well as to the plural nominative in accusative forms. How do I know which is which? In this case, the masculine personal pronoun er is in the nominative case and must therefore function as the subject of the sentence. The noun tür, therefore, receives the action of being seen and is the direct object. In this case, die most likely is a feminine definite article in the accusative case. But how do I know it's not plural? In this sentence, er sieht die Türen, he sees the doors, the ending on the noun informs us that we are dealing with a plural form. Since we still have er as the subject, Türen must still be the direct object, and D a plural definite article in the accusative case. The five-minute German grammar series is produced by David Neville, Associate Professor of German. The video scripts and lecture slides are released under a Creative Commons attribution, non-commercial, share-alike 4.0 international license. Don't be a square. Remix and share.